Welcome to part 6. In this tutorial we're gonna take a look on how to handle multiple files in different folders and how to configure SAS to automatically compile those files. So right now we have a pretty standard situation with our single style.scss file that automatically compiles into an output.css and we imported a couple of different partials files like reset and mixins. SAS is pretty smart to detect even the change inside this partials file. So if we open the file reset.scss and we change the margin for example in 10 pixel and we save just this file, automatically the system is gonna recompile the output.css and apply the new value to whatever attributes we change. But the problem happens when we have multiple SAS file into a different folders. So for example, sometimes we could have a style.css as CSS for the administration panel or a style for the front end. So different style for front end and back end. And if we wanna automatically compile those files without having a double terminal window to handle those compiling process, we can point SAS to detect all the changes inside a folder and automatically compile all the SAS files inside another folder into readable CSS. So let's take a look on how to do it. First of all, we have to create a couple of folders. The first, the first folder is gonna be called SAS and the second folder is gonna be called CSS. Now we have to move all the SAS files with the actual structure, the current structure, inside the SAS folder. And after moving this file, if you notice, automatically the output.css disappeared. And if we access the terminal and we take a look, the system detected the moving of the uh, SAS files as a delete option. So automatically he deleted the output.css, but we don't have to worry about it. For now, with the shortcut control C, we just remove and avoid that SAS is gonna automatically watch for that style.scss file that we actually move. Now we have to always inside the terminal, we have to simply point at the SAS folder and has a destination to compile into the CSS folder. So to do that, we still open the terminal always at the SAS tutorial, the current folder that we are actually working on. And we can write the command SAS dash dash watch space the directory that we want to point. So in my case is SAS column and the directory of destination that is my case is CSS. As you notice here, I'm not putting any extension. I'm not putting any slash or comma. If we had another subfolder, we should have put a slash, a forward slash with the name of the other subfolder. But because all our files are in the first level of our folders, we don't have to specify anything else and just hit enter. Automatically SAS, as you notice here, already compiled because recognized the style.scss and compile the same file into the CSS folder. We have the file style.css with the same exact compile. And now it doesn't matter what kind of file do I change. So if I change the reset, so instead of 10 pixel, I roll back to zero pixel and I save, automatically the style. CSS file is gonna be updated because SAS is uh, watching for the entire folder. This is pretty handy because if we create, for example, another file called style-admin.scss and we move this file inside the SAS folder, automatically just by moving the file, SAS is gonna automatically compile for us the style-admin.css file. So if we open this file in the SAS version and we write whatever class we want with a declaration of color black, and then we use an indentation with another class called subclass, we put border top one 
pixel solid and always black and inside maybe to do another indentation we put ampersand dot modifier and we put border bottom pixel and we save automatically the style.css is going to be compiled with all the classes and the indentation that we use in our sas file into a more readable css file so to recap what we did basically we moved all our sas files into a sas folder and then we created a css folder to use as a container as a destination bucket to all our css file compiled ready to be linked to an actual html file or to an actual web project and to do that we use the terminal to point and detect for any type of changes inside an entire folder without specifying any extension but just pointing to the folder and then with a column pointing to the destination folder that in my case is the css folder so it doesn't matter how many files, how many SAS files I create inside the SAS folders, all these files, every time I do a change inside this folder, everything is going to be reflected and properly compiled into the CSS destination folder. Thank you for checking this video and see you next lesson.